This is One on One. This is uh, Dr. Angela Allister, Medical Director, GI Medical Oncology, Morristown Medical Center, part of the larger Atlantic Health System. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Area of expertise is pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer, gastrointestinal cancers, and phase one studies. Can we talk about pancreatic cancer? Absolutely. How prevalent in our country? It's quite prevalent, and it's going to uh, become even more prevalent. It's expected to become the second leading cause for cancer mortality in the United States. Because? Uh, because of many, many competing factors. Um, and we can talk about them one by one, but really, since we have limited time, is um, our public national problem with weight, with diet, with uh, the unaddressed uh, big elephant in the room. Um, I think that... Uh, the big elephant? In the room, which is our unhealthy lifestyle in the United States. That's the biggest contributor, doctor? Yes, I think it's one wow. of the reasons why the pancreatic cancer is becoming a public um, health problem. So let me ask you, I'm curious about this. There are a lot of people watching who say, wow, pancreatic cancer, as cancers go, that's a really bad one, anecdotally, they talk. And so I ask, well, how treatable is it? Well, and does first, it depend? OK, before I move forward, I want you to repeat after me. Pancreatic cancer is not always a terrible illness. Pancreatic cancer is not always a terrible illness. Go ahead. And the reason I'm saying that is because we have to stop being so pessimistic about, about pancreatic cancer. I see pancreatic cancer every day. It's really sort of um, my main tumor type, although I do see all, all, all cancers. And um, I have many success stories that somehow we kind of not talking, uh, we are not talking about them enough. Um, so I think the, the attitude towards pancreatic cancer has to change, and we need some cheerleaders to emphasize the need for research, the importance of clinical trial involvement. Um, I am kind of, I'm kind of tired of this whole pessimistic attitude um, about pancreatic cancer. Why is it more treatable than 10, 15 years ago? <clears throat> we do have more. Um, we, we currently have three standard of care combination um, regimens that do change lives. They're not curative, however, and this is why most patients with, with pancreatic cancer should be in a clinical trial, in my opinion. Because? because clinical trials will give them better options. Most of them are now early stage, and they combine standard of care treatments with investigational agents. And there is so much exciting, and, uh, exciting news and research and so much activity that unless you are going to place your effort and your emphasis in the first lines of treatments, you're not going to make progress. So I don't want to hear that pancreatic cancer is fatal. I don't want to hear about how um, some personality is having a special treatment. I just want mm. the public to know that if you have pancreatic cancer, you should be at least approached for a clinical trial, and you should know about your options. So let's do this. Two things. Number one, I want to make it clear that Atlantic Health is one of the healthcare organizations that support what we do. The other thing is you mentioned high-profile figures. There are a significant number of people watching right now, Doctor, who, when you said high-profile figures, think of Alex Trebek. And as we do this program in the fall, in the early October 2019, Alex Trebek is out there. Um, you tell me, because I know you have very specific concerns and issues. So I think, so every time I hear about another personality um, that has to battle pancreatic cancer, I have mixed feelings. Because I do know that they, I, I, I obviously feel very bad for them. Of course. But I also um, know that they could do so much to help, because the more visible you are, the more you can help. The public discussion around pancreatic cancers and other serious cancers really does affect the way patients come and speak to physicians. Yes, yes. Fair? That's fair. So, I, so what I would love to see when somebody who does have um, such visibility would focus on, or at least bring into the fold, or bring awareness to, is how are we going to beat this cancer? How are we going to change this? As opposed to, this is me, this is what's happening, I'm in, I'm out of shows. Um, how about you know, the regular uh, blue collar worker who is battling the same, the same illness, mm -hmm. who is still going to work as well? How about, how about that person? So I would love to see a little bit more of a, of a 
public effort to emphasize how important it is that we have a national conversation about pancreatic cancer at a, a different level and uh, how important it is to be in a clinical trial and to move the field forward. Well said. Let me just do this. We're taping, as I said, on the 2nd of October. We wish Alex Trebek all the best. And when this program repeats, you know, again, we wish him the best. But, but let me try this. Um, are there uh, early detection? Are there signs and symptoms? So the clinical signs and, sy and symptoms are so elusive that we really can't go by that anymore. Um, and we, um, uh, even the most attentive physician is most likely going to use vague symptoms that come and go and then, uh, and, and then six months later end up you know, being a, a real diagnosis. I would, um, the way I talk with my patients about pancreatic cancer is that, and their family, because if a patient has pancreatic cancer, the family has pancreatic cancer. That's really the conversation. How do I prevent this from happening to me? Uh, is that any time you have something that's, that's lasting more than two weeks and is not getting better with supportive care, with your over-the-counter medicines, please go and insist on being further evaluated. Uh, you know, don't wait. Don't, don't, yeah, exactly. Don't wait. Don't make it six months later that you're going to have additional um, e evaluations. On top of that... A few seconds left. Go ahead. On, on top of that, now the new standard of care is that every patient with pancreatic cancer has, um, uh, is, is, um, has the right to, to be tested for genetic mutations that would translate into risk for the family. So it is really very important that everybody knows that it's standard of care to be genetically tested for mutations that may predispose someone to pancreatic cancer. Doctor, you just helped a lot of people. And I want to thank you. Thank you. We'll keep the conversation going. Sounds good. This is One on One. I'm Steve Adubato. We'll see you next time. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by PSE&G. United Airlines, the Northward Center, Fedway Associates, the Russell Berry Foundation, the New Jersey Education Association, PNC, Grow Up Great, Adler Aphasia Center, and by Community Food Bank of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by New Jersey Family Magazine and njfamily.com. And by Tap Into TV. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.